Welcome back to the Norwegian farm. As you can see, I skipped ahead uh, three months, I think. Uh, didn't really happen that much uh, during that time. I've been taking some fertilizing contract though. So you can see my money is uh, up a bit. And uh, that's uh, because I need the money and uh, I need something to do while skipping ahead. Uh, so today is uh, harvest day. Our oat are uh, ready to harvest and also uh, our grass are ready so it's gonna be uh, like uh, always uh, except when I'm uh, skipping it it's gonna be a busy month we got the grass uh, we got to plow I'm gonna sow grass on that oat field uh, and uh, the plowing is for expanding this field back to as much as I can get. I'm gonna cut down some of those at least those two trees I think. Maybe even out the terrain a little bit and make this a big uh, grass field. Uh, and I was thinking why not uh, we already expand this uh, new field across the river but I think now with the lumberjack and all I'm gonna expand it a bit more and uh, since we are losing one grain field uh, let's expand the existing one and also the wool production is uh, going crazy <laughs> uh, I probably lost like four or five thousand liters because I go to bed a bit too early I forget to clean out the shed here and clear out the shed and uh, I wake up to uh, uh, wool capacity as full and so on. So <laughs> I'm in uh, maximum speed and just throwing them out there. So uh, in the barn I got 14,000 liter already and 14, 18, 20, 22,000 liter with wool and it's August. So yeah, it's a money machine that's for sure. So I'm thinking uh, I'm gonna build a kind of a shed, small shed just here so I don't have to run up to the barn all the time. Uh, I could of course just stack them anywhere but you know it's not quite authentic though. You don't want to keep the wool out in the rain and the snow and so on. Uh, it's no good. So I'm gonna build when I got the money though, uh, a sheep, <laughs> a sheep shed uh, here um, with no wall, so it's not 100% authentic, but it's a roof anyway. So, so yeah, busy month, busy day. Uh, as I mentioned last episode, one of the first thing to upgrade was this uh, wheat rower, and. Uh, I don't like to sell stuff. I kind of want to keep them as a museum or whatnot. Or did I sell it? No. I'm starting to stack up some equipment here. Uh, the one I don't use anymore. Although I might be using this one again. Uh, when I'm feeding the sheep with the old uh, trailer, no, the new trailer. Uh, I hit the roof, so and it's taking a longer time and so on, but I'm not quite sure. No, I still got the withdrawer, yeah. This one was two and a half meter working with. It's it's good, but you know <laughs> uh, it's practically practically the same as just going over with the, the harvester. So I think uh, first of all now I'm gonna take the harvester out, start uh, harvesting the field that I'm going to expand uh, and uh, while I'm harvesting I'm gonna start collecting uh, or cutting down the grass probably on both fields and uh, after that I will start to uh, Uh, go rent the plow 
no, before that, actually, I will go get a withdrawer to uh, make the grass collecting uh, more efficient. So, uh, yeah, as I said, lots of stuff to do. And I'm also thinking about I'm gonna stack up the timber and uh, actually go to the uh, dump them in my trailer and go to the sawmill and actually get paid for it. So. And uh, I've never been to the sawmill yet. It's kind of far away. It's, it's all the way down, all the way down to the corner here. So uh, it's going to be a first. Let's feel this uh, kind of a steep too. Uh, hopefully it will go better with uh, just the grass. Come on. So yeah, um, I will get busy with uh, this. Let's see, can I just put a helper on it? Yep. Uh, what to use on the mower? I'm gonna use this one. And. Uh, do you think I used cosplay on this mower at one point? But I adjust the uh, the offset. So, ooh, damn it! I'm probably gonna try that again and uh, see how that works out. And uh, if I can get them uh, both busy. Uh, working I will go to the shop and uh, and get a new withdrawer let's see uh, I will have to go into the field a little bit gonna take three The right field, yep. All right, so uh, I do kind of like this. That's the right point. Guess I have to clean up the edge edges anyway, maybe. But yeah, we're gonna see how that works out. So uh, I can't remember if I mentioned, but I did some contract work fertilizing some fields, and um, that gave me enough money to buy a new withdrawer. So. Just gonna park this. Who's blocked? Of course. So. Since I'm cutting down that tree, it's gonna be. The last time that we will <laughs> be an object. Yeah, it's probably gonna crash in the next three as well. Let's uh, see. Yep. Another uh, bad thing, uh, not just with the crossplay, but with the helper in general, is you don't get get this uh, bonus grass. See, since he won't cut the, the 
grass outside of the field. But, uh, no worries, we get what uh, we need, I hope. Alright, so I will go to the shop and uh, get back to you uh, at the, when I'm back from the shop, actually. I'm back from the shop and I bought uh, this one. Uh, it was uh, 8,000. 8,100. Uh, not quite sure uh, what time age this belonged to. It is a small wheat rover, so it's surely not um, uh, a new invention. So it's um, kind of a natural uh, uh, development from this one. So uh, doesn't need that much horsepower, horsepower, so hopefully I can use it with my 135. And uh, it's uh, I forgot <laughs> to mention it's uh, like 4.7 meters, and the old one was two and a half meters, and uh, that's practically the same as my uh, forage harvester. So, and also I realized that. With this uh, configuration, I can't uh, load the uh, grain, so I have to go and reconfigure it. Is that the name? To uh, another uh, setup. So, wood configuration. Wow, I didn't uh, <laughs> didn't know that. 4,000, I can't do that. Stones. Alright, so it's this one. It's not quite the same as uh, the old trailer uh, that I sold. That could take 11,000, I think. But hopefully, uh, I'm not gonna sell the crop yet. I'm just gonna uh, put it in my uh, silo. So I guess I'm uh, either going to do some contract or sell uh, some wool or something. So I will be able to get this uh, uh, maximum upgrade. Yep. Alright, so uh, the mower is almost finished. I'm just going to do the rest myself. I'm gonna steal some grass from the edge as well. Then I uh, will. Uh, I don't know if I have to uh, withdraw it myself to get the edges with me. But yeah, uh, I guess the next upgrade will be a new mower. Uh, because. Uh, I've been checking out the prices on uh, on cows, and um, a, a young, a real young uh, milking cow is like 200 euros, and uh, a young beef cattle is 300 euros. And uh, now my young beef cattle is almost 700. So when they reach a thousand. I'm gonna sell them and for each beef cattle I sell I'm gonna buy one new beef cattle and three young uh, milking cows and um, for a while at least I'm gonna do that so maybe next month or the month after I will get my first uh, dairy cattle or milking cattle whatever you want to call it uh, in the barn so we are closing in on starting our milk production so that's gonna be it's a steady income so that's gonna be nice all right let me finish those uh, I think this mower 
maybe I put the mower on uh, on the 135. I think, yeah, I'm gonna do that. And uh, this one on the withdrawer. Uh, ah, that's a problem though. I need the trailer for both the grass and the grain. So. Yeah. Gonna take some time. Busy month. Alright. So the grass is done. And now. Uh, I'm gonna switch this with the 135. Actually, I think I'm gonna go and rent the plow. But yeah, um, I will keep keep on working, and I will get back to you when I start uh, withdrawing the grass. So I will see you in a second or two. So let's try this new withdrawer. It's uh, twice as wide as the old one, so we should uh, really see a difference uh, between the, this one and the old one. And also I uh, remember when I was uh, emptying the harvester uh, combine, that now I think with the new forage harvester I can collect straw. Uh, so, <laughs> not leaving a straw path is uh, not the best idea. Now it's uh, leaving a straw swat, is that what it's called? Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna withdraw it or just drive through it. I have to see how, <laughs> how big this is, really is. So, so yeah. Uh, I will uh, withdraw all this grass and I will get back to you uh, uh, when I'm finished probably with most of the grass. So I will see you in, uh, in a bit.
Finish Oops, growing all the grass. I even finish uh, harvesting the second outfield, so it's looking good. I uh, did have to take down the tame sky scale because uh, still got the new field across the river uh, to uh, to harvest. So I think I will first harvest all the grass and all the straw. Even though I don't need that much straw, uh, I'm gonna collect it and uh, sell it when the price is high. So, it's gonna be uh, extra income. Let's see. Yep. I'm not. Uh, I haven't tried this one on straw yet. So, hopefully, uh, it takes straw. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to take straw. So. Because we will find that out uh, in a little bit. So I also drove the harvester over across the river, and I was checking out the field expansion, and it's a pretty large area. So I think I will only do a small portion uh, now, uh, and uh, in the winter when there's nothing, uh, not much to do, I will. Uh, Take the whole area, uh, whole area that I can. So it's going to be a pretty large field uh, when I'm finished. That's good since we are losing uh, one outfield now soon. It's going to be gonna be good. So maybe I will. I haven't showed you, but I rented another plow for this uh, operation since I have a stronger tractor. I'm gonna try this one. It's a bit wider, so I don't have to drive that much. So I will maybe keep this uh, for a couple of months. Not that expensive. I don't remember how much it was. I think it was under plow plows. No, cultivators. Uh, <laughs> sub sub soilers, of course. Nine thousand, so the leasing isn't that much. Ninety-eight per day, so I think I can handle. So uh, yeah, uh, that's the plan. I think the field expansion and uh, the other field will be for the next episodes. Uh, come out at the best turn. So it's gonna be good to expand this this grass field uh, because now it's when I get one trailer. I'm not sure. Yeah, and the harvest so far is uh, how much oat did I get? Twenty six thousand. So I guess on the other side of the river, I'm gonna get. I don't remember what I got last time. Probably around thirty thousand. So yeah. Anyway, I will uh, time lapse this uh, grass harvest and. Uh, get back to you when it's done.
we are at the last rock, last grass, I mean. and uh, I did check the trailer uh, of camera, so the trailer is supposed to accept straw. So hopefully that is uh, correct. Uh, we will find out in uh, just a second or uh, just a minute. All right, so I will. Uh, just empty that grass and uh, I'm gonna start with the straw. But uh, that will be uh, either off camera or for the next episode. I will see. Uh, but I'm gonna start anyway so we can uh, confirm that it's uh, working with this equipment. And uh, yeah, there will be a whole lot of straw. There ain't that, it ain't that good price on straw, but uh, you know every money, <coughs> every penny counts, and um, the sell point is just behind the barn in the animal dealer, <coughs> so it's uh, easy money, I guess. So, but uh, <laughs> hopefully we won't have this uh, issue that we had. First time with the uh, uh, forage harvester, but it uh, wouldn't attach or accept or whatever. So, so yeah, and uh, yeah, and the wool—it's amazing. Oh, what's going on? Hey, hey, hey! Mm. It's better with the underhaul trailer. Didn't have that issue. Yeah, uh, 23, almost 24,000 liters of wool already. <laughs> I sold the last wool in in May, so only two months. So there will be a whole lot of wool uh, to sell uh, in the spring. So uh, I'm gonna do hopefully a whole lot of upgrades. And, uh, Maybe start to pay down on our loan a bit. But, uh, we'll see. So now, will this pick up straw? That's the question. Come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah. Sweet. Alright, so I guess then I'm gonna collect all the straw. Uh, this field and... Uh, across the river and uh, on the other where I forgot to to put, make straw swaps but, uh, so I don't know how much it will give us 60, 70, 80,000 liters and that will produce uh, <laughs> not that much I guess but 10, 15,000 maybe but, uh, Good money. All right, I think I will call it for this episode. There is too much work left to be done to uh, for this episode. So I guess uh, next episode I will continue uh, with harvesting the oat and uh, expanding the field and so on. And uh, yeah, probably something else that I <laughs> discover uh, along the way. But uh, anyway, uh, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I see you again in the next one. Bye-bye. Uh,